A Boy's Guide to Becoming a Teen by the American Medical Association. Hi, I'm Jen Elledge. I'm a sexual health expert and I'm also the founder of The Talk Institute. Here to help you talk to your kids about sex and growing up. Here with another book review. This one is a puberty book for boys um, and it was written by the American Medical Association, which is fantastic, a very reputable place and you know the information is gonna be correct and, uh, and it's also gonna be appropriate for what they need to know at this age, okay? And, and, and common things there that boys have questions about their changing body, okay? This book is definitely focused on puberty entirely. Um, sometimes you'll see body books that will talk about a whole range of things that uh, of caring for your body, and this one is more specific to the changes, uh, physical and emotional changes that happen to boys during puberty. So let's take a look. Okay, so here's the contents here. Uh, a welcome to puberty, eating, exercise in a healthy weight, your height, your skin, teeth, and hair, your reproductive system, inside and out, erections, wet dreams, and masturbation. So that is covered in this book. Your feelings, relationships, and then there's also a chapter nine, that's what about sex, and uh, find out more, and there's a glossary, okay? So there's... Uh, just two colors really there's black and white and then blue throughout the book but um i think that makes the book more affordable too which is great so here you go welcome to puberty it starts out right away explaining about this time in your life um here's what it says if you're reading this it's probably because you're about to become a teenager there are a lot of great things about becoming a teen you get taller bigger and stronger you get better at many of the things you enjoy doing like playing a musical instrument drawing or being on the soccer team you begin to have more freedom to go more places and do more things with your friends. You may start dating. You may even get your first job and have your own money to spend in ways that you want to spend it. These things all make becoming a teen an exciting time in your life. So you can see the, the tone is a positive tone and it's uh, definitely about being healthy, okay? All right, talks about the main body changes, what is adolescence, what's going on, and it basically, it asks a lot of questions and then it goes into the answer. Um, how should I feel about puberty? This is sort of the intro. And then it has these neat sections where it talks about real boys' feelings. So these are, this is like a, I don't know, like a dialogue, I guess, or people wrote, kids wrote in their questions and, or how they were feeling about puberty. So uh, here's one. One of the guys at school found some pills. I don't want a rat, but I'm scared that some of my friends will take the pills with him, age 12. Um, I'm skinny and I want to bulk up. So a friend told me about steroids. My dad found out about it and printed out a list of all the scary things steroids could do to me. I don't want to deal with those problems, so I'll stick to push-ups and lifting weights. So these are some of the things you'll see. Okay, I'm going to jump over to the sections that you're going to be the most curious about. Okay. Um, oh, there was a neat little section here about video games. So there's some surprising little pieces that they throw in about general health that I think were, were neat, but it didn't focus on everything, right? It's not so broad that it's about everything. So this is uh, about video games. What's the big deal? I like to play them. You know, why is that bad? Okay, so it tells you why. Uh, let's see. How do I get the body I want? Um, so it talks about um, body image for boys, which I thought was neat too. It does talk about steroids. Uh, when will I start getting taller? How much will I grow? Maybe I should move over so you can see. Um, why are so many girls taller than boys in middle school? Okay, it talks about pimples, hygiene, what is pubic hair, and it does show um, facial hair too and how that will grow. It does talk about the five stages of pubic hair, but I feel like I saw, there it is. So there's the diagram for anatomy. So they, they talk about it again later, um, but these are some of the diagrams when it starts to talk about the reproductive system. Um, talks about erections as well in wet dreams. Talks about circumcision. 
Okay, there's a circumcised and uncircumcised penis. Why do I need to worry about cancer and a testicle? I'm only a teen, so I'll tell them about how to, how to look for testicular cancer. Um, okay, erections, wet dreams, and masturbation. The previous chapter answers some questions you might have about your penis and other reproductive organs. This chapter addresses even more personal questions, like why do I get erections, or what is masturbation, and is it okay to do it? Use this chapter as a tool for learning. Also use it to realize that your questions and experiences are common and normal. It's perfectly okay, and in fact important to think, talk, and read about these issues. All right, so why do I get erections? What's an ejaculation? Sometimes I wake up and there's and it's sticky. My pajama bottoms are sticky. So talk about wet dreams. Okay, this is what it says about masturbation. What is masturbation? It's just like a half of a page. Masturbation is touching or rubbing the penis to feel good sexually. Most boys masturbate until they ejaculate. You've probably heard lots of slang terms for masturbation, and some of them can sound pretty silly. The fact that there are so many slang terms for masturbation shows you how very common it is. Masturbation is a normal, healthy way to explore your sexual feelings, express the natural sexual response, and safely experiment with sexual touching. Most boys and men masturbate, as do most girls and women. Okay, and there's some like little myth busters um, that are there. And can it do anything bad to me? Is it possible to do it too much? So it addresses that. And then it goes into feelings. So I guess it's two pages on masturbation then, okay? Your feelings. Um, and it talks about anger and sadness and uh, all kinds of things. I thought that was a good section. I don't think boys get enough support, emotional support. Um, I, I like that that was here. Here's more things about feelings. So you'll see these pages ever so often. Um, what other kids are going through. Okay, what about sex? So... Um, why does it seem that boys and girls suddenly don't have as much in common as they used to? Why does it feel uncomfortable to be around girls now? What exactly is a crush? Um, what do I do if I have a crush on a girl? And then what if I have a crush on another boy? Okay, so I like that it did that because at first when I was going through it and I saw that it had identified you know, who, a girl, right? Assuming heterosexual, I like that it addressed, well, what if you're not? It's not to a girl. So I think that that was well done. Um, when are teenagers ready to date? Okay, and then behaviors that are never okay. This is a good section too. It talks about and addresses what sexual harassment is, sexual assault, sexual abuse and molestation. Okay. Um, and then it ends with, I still have more questions. What should I do? And it tells them to come talk to you. So I think this is a, a fantastic book. There's some good resources. Um, if you're looking for one for to add to your library, check this one out. Uh, get it at your local library, or you can click at, on the link below uh, and purchase it on Amazon. Um, I do get a small commission, maybe 20 cents if that, um, but definitely I, every little bit helps. So please let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you enjoyed this book review. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.